2 Timothy chapter chapter 1 verse um, 7 and it reads for the most I have not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord nor of me his prisoner but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel According to the power of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who have saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach before the world began. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of the great millstone at 144 on the screen, who taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actors. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God's of people here for a bear. Just pretty much going through the trials and tribulations, you know, that we're going to suffer. Said, so don't be ashamed of suffering for the Lord. Don't be ashamed of suffering for righteousness. Does it feel good all the time? No. You got um like lately, you no know, saying um brothers going into how people have been calling their jobs. You know, former members of the body, scoffers and mockers. People find out where you work at. They send in videos to your manager. Things of that nature. I mean. Family members, uh, and look, the whole world's going to hate you because they hated the Lord. You, um, I'm, I'm going to see if I can get that too. Lord willing, St. John 7 and 7. The world hated the Lord. The service not greater than this Lord. So you're going to feel it. You're going to get persecuted. I mean, uh, revile, ridicule, defame, slander, just the whole thing, man. Because you know the Lord looking for the real deal then anyway. You know. Uh, what would it say? Um, humility comes before honor. You're going to be uh, pretty much going to be um, being humiliated by families, by co-workers. People that don't even know you. People going to mock you. People going to scoff you. It's all part of the walk. It's all part of the walk. Going right back here again. Let's get this again. Just something quick about the head out, man. You gotta, that's why you got to have thick skin to be a part of your Howard Bahashim Yahweh body. You got to have thick skin, man. You see, attacked by demons. I mean, I mean, constantly. That's why we constantly pray. We fast when need. We comfort each other with these words. This is pretty much a lesson. Just comforting. Um, I'm being comforted by these words, and this what this what helped me get through the, my trials and tribulations. The word. This is what helps all of us get through our trials and tribulations. The word. Conversating with other brothers, brothers going through things. We go straight to the scriptures, bro. Um, the Lord said this was gonna happen. Said that was gonna happen. But at the end, though. Because after Lord Yahweh Shai suffering, what came after that? The glory in the heavens. And he's about to come soon, come to get his glory on earth. A whole lot of scriptures going through my head right about now. But I want to get this though one more time. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse, um, let's see, 7. For Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God as Jesus, have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love. And of a sound mind. But be thou therefore, but be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. So a whole lot of Jays get offended. You know, they can't handle the pressures of the world that comes with being in this ministry. Just knowing the truth, period. People are gonna be looking at you sideways. Somebody's always gonna have something to say about you. Why are you growing your beard? You know what I'm saying? Look, look, I, I, see, I did not see you on the streets with a whole bunch of other guys, you know what I'm saying? With, with, uh, with robes on, with dresses, whatever they call it. You see? You know, they're going to you know, make a little fun or whatever, whatever. You gonna uh, Somebody said they seen you, you know what I'm saying, downtown. Somebody said they seen you such and such, you know what I'm saying? Um, reading the Bible, so forth and so on. You, you're going to be reproached. 
Uh, yeah, he's crazy. He's he's out there on the streets. Uh, you, you you might go to your mama house. You know what I'm saying your mama might say she heard some, um somebody say she sit, they seen you on the streets teaching the Bible, looking all crazy. Something wrong with you? Go talk to your son. Friends of so called friends of the world might come to your house. You no know saying say that your family members was saying um somebody need to go check on you because because you seem like you, you you might be bugged out. You might be losing your mind. Uh, all the above. Happy is he that's reproach for the gospel. It says, be thou a partaker of the afflictions. You see? It says, be not thou therefore ashamed. Because a whole lot of people get offended when they get reproached about the gospel. You know, you see, you see the, the job, you know what I'm saying, or, or that Bible. You see the my love or, or that Bible. You, you, you got to think quick. It's like nothing should separate us from the love of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And that's uh that's Romans the eighth chapter, down at the bottom, verse 35. But I'm I'm listening to um brothers' different stories, you know what I'm saying, the testimonies. Or, or what happened, you know what I'm saying? Um when somebody found out that they was teaching the Bible or believed in the truth and things of that nature. All kind of hell came that way. All kind of hell came my way. I got every, all of us got our stories, man. All of us got a story. Of people trying to defame you, coming to your job, seeing you in front of somebody, and saying that nonsense. Then I see you on the streets preaching the Bible. You like right, right now. You, you waited, you waited to like right now to say that. But it's all part of the walk. That's why the scripture said, "Be not ashamed. Be not ashamed of the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai, the Spirit of prophecy." Right? Know of me as prisoner, because we're prisoners of hope. Right? But be thou partaker. You, you, you want to be part of this thing, right? But be a partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh, who have saved us and called us with a holy, with a holy calling. This is a holy calling. You see, this ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Not according. And yeah, the whole world going to make you feel bad. The whole world's going to make you feel like you ain't S-I-T, uh, S-H-I-T. You see? But the Lord has called us, Lord, when we part of that chosen, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Yahweh Shah Mashiach before the world began. So all, all everything that we're going through now was already predestined. You, you couldn't avoid it if, if, if you wanted to. Couldn't avoid it. I want to get this though. And like I said before, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be all over the place. As a matter of fact, let's stay here. Let's just stay here. Matter of fact. It's, um, let's see. First Peter. Let's get this. I want to I get first Peter. First Peter. And I got a couple more scriptures, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm going to wrap it up. Just something quick. Things that we're going to have to endure. Being defamed, being ridiculed, being lied on, being slandered. You know, all the above. People calling our jobs. Sending videos to the manager. Hell, pretty much everybody at my job know what I do. You see, a couple of people seen me on the highways and byways teaching the gospel. Ran, ran to the manager like some bitches. Guess who I just seen? Guess who I just seen downtown, you know what I'm saying? Reading the Bible, blah, 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 blah. Just murmuring and whispering and shit. So everybody on my job, you know what I'm saying? Look, my job is one thing, you know what I'm saying? And preaching the word is another. I don't mix them together. I don't be all at my job trying to break down scriptures. And brothers, don't be at your job trying to break down those scriptures. Don't be at your job, you know what I'm saying, with Fred is on and all that. All right? Those other Israelite groups, they want to do it. Let them do it. You don't do it. Clark Kent, Superman, remember? It's a time and a place for every purpose under the heaven. When you're at work, you at work, man. All right? When you're on the streets teaching, then you on the streets teaching. All right, let's get this though. I want to get this though right quick. This is like I said before, just something quick. First Peter chapter four, verse one. For as much then as Yahweh shall have suffered for us in the flesh. Remember, the Lord came down on the scene and suffered for us in the flesh. He wasn't just a spirit. See, this scripture right here cuts that spirit. He's just a spirit. It was a spirit inside some flesh that suffered. They got beat, you know what I'm saying? They got spit on. You see, they got whipped. They got defamed, they got slandered, they got lied on. They got slew on a tree. All of the above. Family members looking at the matter. Everything that we're going through, the Lord went through it first. 
Everything that we're going through right now, Yahweh Shai went through it first, right? For as much then, and, and look, and the phone chimed in. For as much then as Yahweh Shai has suffered for us in the flesh, who you're even going to call Jesus, Yahweh Shai, has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. He had people going behind his back talking junk about him. Family members looking at him all crazy. Because he had four brothers, only two, you know what I'm saying, believed. The other two didn't believe. And you know, he had other family members, cousins, and things of that nature, mocking and scoffing, right? Saying something was wrong with him, especially you coming saying you the savior of, of Israel. You know, you know, come on, man. You, you already know who people, how people, and, and then we go into like the chariots and spiritual power and things of that nature, ruling over these heathens out there on the highways and byways. So, so you know, people already think we bugged out, right? Uh, the fact of us calling ourselves the Hebrew Israelites, people, people think we bugged the hell out because because people keep saying we're African, we're African, we're black, we're black, we're black. The Lord says, suffer all that, right? Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. And I don't want to get that quoted on um, St. John. Let's get St. John 7 and 7 right quick. Yeah, all kind of testimony. Brothers got all kind of stories of people trying to defame them, trying to slander them. Oh, you're that guy, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I was at my job one day, you know what I'm saying? So people came in. Oh, you're that guy, you know what I'm saying? You hate white people, right? I'm like, oh, hell, here we go. It was it was an Edomite woman, too. I started doing some electrical work in, in, in their crib or whatever. You see, first thing she said, I, 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 I heard them over there mumbling. You know what I'm saying, why I was over there work. I think I was working on an um, electrical socket or something like that. And I heard them over there mumbling something. But I ain't think nothing of it. What you, you be cordial with these people? Hey, how you doing? Um, you know, I'm here to um fix this, that, and the third. You know, cordial and all that. You know, you play that role, man. But then they say, no, aren't you that guy that we see downtown? I was like, um, downtown. I only think I, I ignored him for a minute. And then that that woman that that um that that sleaze might, you know what I'm saying? Was like, um, aren't you? Aren't you that guy? You know what I'm saying? That hates white people. I'm like thinking to myself. Ain't nobody white or black, you know what I'm saying? But you, you you suffer certain things. People people just say it. Just people just call you out in front of whoever. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind, right? St. John 7 and 7. The world cannot hate you. This red letter, Lord Yahweh shall speak who they even call Jesus, right? The world cannot hate you, but me it hate it first because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. And, and, and then on top of that, you're going to still look on um, LaGuardia floor. You know what I'm saying? What to say? Uh, New York declares state of emergency as torrential rainfall triggers flash floods and subway chaos. These are the general. See, that's what they look. Ain't no need to be in a shade. See, the Lord protecting us. Look, you putting hell on these people, though. We catch our certain hell, you know what I'm saying? But look at what everybody else is catching, man. You see, and then the scriptures goes into that. The hell that we're catching, you can't compare it to the hell that two thirds of these heathens are catching and are gonna catch. You see, parts of Northeast still seeing rain this morning. So yeah, we're being ridiculed, we're being defamed, we're being slandered. No saying, but look at the judgment that the Lord is bringing upon these mockers and these scoffers, man. All right. Once again, Saint John seventy seven. The world cannot hate you. But it hated me, but me it hated because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. The Lord condemned these wicked people and they gnashed on them, man. So so we're condemning these people and they're gnashing upon us. Mainly our people, though, they're the main ones. You don't have too many sleaze of ease, no saying calling your job, sending videos and all that. It's Jake that's doing that nonsense. You see? Just because they haven't been given the spirit to believe, you break down the scripture to them, you, you, and, and, look, and Lord forbid, you know what I'm saying? God forbid, you go into Yahweh, Baha, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, forbid, you bring out some scriptures on these heathens going into captivity, or the Lord judging the end of, or the Lord judging family members and babies and things of that nature. Oh, man. Condemning these wicked people for committing adultery, worshiping idols, things of that nature, man. You you start bringing out some scriptures like that, man. Shit, they go, they might want to fight you. But it's all part. Of, that's what that's why you teach on the streets. And if you you round you you you're a family member that you're pretty cool with or whatever, you start breaking out the scriptures and they can't get it, and you just move on. You just start having regular conversations with them, man. Really, I don't even really go over my family members' houses. Every now and then, if somebody me need needs some help fixing something. 
I, I, I might roll over somebody might cook a meal or whatever. I might go over them. But every time you go around them, they think you're going to bring out the scriptures, but you ain't. St. Luke chapter 6, just something quick too, man. Just throwing something out there. All of us are going to be reproached for the word. You can believe that you, you ain't going to be able to hide it. If you're truly part of Yahweh, Baha, Shem, Yahweh, you're going to be reproached. You see, a look, character, assassination, all that. St. Luke chapter 6, verse 22, blessed are ye. This is the point right here, because I'm going to wrap it up, because I got to get ready to roll. Go get this daily bread, man. We one day closer, Israel. Just know we one day closer to suffering. It's almost so. Remember, light affliction. Light affliction, which is but for a moment. I'm going to see if I can get that too. What does it say, St. Luke 6, 22? Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. It's a bl do, it feel, do it feel good, Israel? Do it feel good to be hated by, by the whole world, by your family, by your loved ones? Somebody close and near and dear to you, does it feel good? No, it don't feel good. All right? We, we still in the flesh. But the Lord is hardening us. The Lord is hardening us. You see, we're starting to be hardened. You're, we, we really, the Lord put His Spirit on us to not really give a damn about nothing, man. You see, if they de gets deleted, they gets deleted, right? So, so it is. We're starting to be the Lord. The Lord is making us numb to what these people are going through, because being ridiculed and being defamed, you know what I'm saying, being persecuted and all that, it, it does something to you, man. It makes you numb to anything. You're becoming numb to the thing. It's not even affecting us anymore like it was in the, in the beginning. Everywhere you go, you know what I'm saying, uh, people mocking at you for having a beard, you know what I'm saying, and things of that nature. You, you, you're walking the right path now. Family members, you know what I'm saying, mocking and scoffing, and now they catch the prayer hell. Now they want answers now. Years later, now they want, they mocking and scoffing you for years. So-called friends of the world mocked you and scoffed you for years, and now they catch a prayer hell. Can, can you pray for me? Can you pray for me? Ninja, are you serious? Ninja, are you serious? People on the job that mocked you and scoffed you and made fun of you for growing your beard, now they catch a prayer hell, and you see it on their face. They going through all kind of illnesses and sicknesses. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company. You got other Israelite group groups, you know what I'm saying, finding out where you work at and sending um your, your managers and your, the bosses of your job information about you. Well, look, when they supposed to know better, that's why it's gonna be more of a heavy judgment for them. All the Israelite men that actually call brother, found out where brothers work, found out where sisters work, call their job, sent videos to their to their manager, the Lord is gonna destroy you. You see? Lord's gonna destroy you, man. All right, because the scriptures say, "Um, offenses must come, but woe to him of whom the offenses come from." Right. So blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, they don't want to be around you no more. Cause you teach the gods to think you crazy. He, ooh, he's a madman. Ooh, 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 something wrong with him. Right. He believes in that Bible, and shall reproach you. And cast out your name as evil. They're going to talk about you, man. They're going to cast out your name as evil. They're going to say you're wicked. You're a false prophet. Things of that nature. The Lord said, bless when these things start happening, right? So blessing for the son of man's sake. It says, um, rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For so, for, for in like manner, for in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets so the true problem was always ridiculed. The true problem was always defamed, slandered, mocked. You know what I'm saying? Spoken evil of. The true prophets, not the false prophets. So when you go to 26, woe unto you, destruction unto you, when all men shall speak well of you. You see? So the, the majority of these other Israelite group leaders, everybody speaking well of them. You see? Famous, uh, no, known for their uh, aspiration, known for their uh, community work in the, in the hood and all this, then the third. You see? All these different accolades, right? The scriptures say, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. So the false prophets were spoken well of. Not the true prophets of Yahweh through its only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, but the false prophets, man. The false prophets was always spoken well of. So let's just get this. So people are going to call your job. There's a, there's a whole lot that I want to get, but, I, but I'm, I'm pressed with time. I got to get ready to go. Yep, let's get this.
I got one more after this, then I'm going to roll. Just wanted to go into, like, um, pretty much, you're going to be slanted. You're going to be defamed. People going to call your job. Certain brothers' jobs are going to be called. People going to go run into the manager. I seen him. Like some bitches. Guess who I seen last weekend? Guess who I seen Saturday? Or guess who, whatever day your brother might go up? Guess who I seen? Like some, all in the corner whispering and shit. So you come in the office, you know what I'm saying? And then every, all of a sudden, everybody get quiet. Yeah, you you know they talking about you, but it's all good, though. It's all good, though. Because watch what the Lord do to them. These people are going to be, you know what I'm saying, seeking for you soon come. Because that family of the word is we, we right around the corner. The Lord already got it, you know what I'm saying, on a, on a small scale anyway. When your videos get taken down, when these different pages get taken down of those videos, you know what I'm saying, the edification that we've been putting up, that's that's pretty much a family of the word. Those those breakdowns, those um lessons that the Lord had you do, if you didn't get it, you know what I'm saying, the Lord like, yo, if they didn't get it, they didn't get it. So that family word, when it kick in, all the people that mocked you, scoff you, ridicule you, call your job and all that shit, you wait to all hell really break loose. You see? 2 Timothy 4, 17, for our light affliction, people calling my job, slandering your family members, you know what I'm saying, hating on you, don't want to be around you no more, everybody's saying you're crazy, you're bugged out, they don't, they don't want to be in, the, in your company anymore. You see, they, they revile you, all, all the above, right? For our um, women that left you because you believed in the truth. They, 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 uh, it's either me or the truth. You already know what it is, y'all. The truth over everything. You already know what it is. And that's the type of spirit that you pray for. Going right back to um, Romans. I quoted it. Romans, the, um, you see, the, the eighth chapter or the fifth chapter. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shine? Brothers can put that up on the comment board. Second Corinthians um, 4 and 17 for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. See, the things that we're going through right about now, the pains, the suffering, the losing jobs, losing family members, you see, losing sons and daughters, it's, what, it's but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. The end all, be it all, man. I, 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 a matter of fact, let's get, let's get the next verse. Let's get the next verse. Verse 18, while we look, let's, let's click on it. That's why we pray for more strength. Pray for more prayer. Pray for more strength. 2 Corinthians 4, 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, a.k.a. faith, we believe in things that we don't see. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And I get one more, than I'm gone. So, so we're more focused on the kingdom than the things that we see now. This is earthly nonsense. Fortune and fame, cars, clothes, hoes. We ain't thinking about that shit right now, man. We, we're on a mission right about now anyway. We soldiers, man. We're in a spiritual war right about now. And, and it says, uh, think it not strange concerning the fiery um, trials. If brothers can put that up too. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you. We're being tried, Israel. We're being tried, all right? Romans chapter 8. I just want to hit a point. Romans chapter 8. Verse um, 16 to 17, 18 too. For the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, we are Yahshua Allah, right? We ain't got to go dig up no artifacts and those things help or whatever, but the spirit lets us know who we are. The Israelite men are the only ones that can break down these scriptures 100% anyway, right? It says, and then, and then we fit all the prophecies, we fit all the curses according to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, not these heathens. And if children and heirs, heirs of Yahweh and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. You see that? You suffer with the Lord, you get glorified with the Lord. It's all part of it. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us, right? And Lord willing, we have that number. You and brothers can, brothers can read on down. See, but I'm pressed for time. I got to get ready to roll. Just remember, people are gonna you're gonna be defamed. People are gonna call your job and send videos. People are gonna see you out there on the highways and byways. Wait, wasn't that you? Wasn't that you standing with guys? I've seen all kind of people. They look at y'all strange, like y'all. I wonder what he doing. It is what it is, man. Be be not thou for be not there thou for of um what to say. Be not therefore ashamed of me and of the gospel. Don't be ashamed of the gospel, man. The, the, receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul on to the next shalom